Uh, hi, my name is Michaela Palmer. I am a sophomore at Bartlett High School in Bartlett, Tennessee. And so far, I've completed standard art courses from 6th to 8th grade in architecture camp in the summer of 2022, and then graphic design course in 9th grade. And I'm currently in Art 1. Um, for my portfolio, I have a couple school projects first, and I have this concept page for a graffiti assignment that we did in ninth grade that um we just had to pick a five letter word that meant something to us and at the time i was really into space and stars and so i chose the word aster because it means star and i think latin it's been a while i did that project on a 12 by 18 sheet of paper with crayola markers and a sharpie and then the concept page was on a nine by six inch page with some prismacolor cold erase pencils and uh, just a regular mechanical pencil Next, I have this two-point perspective house that I did this year with um, just some Sharpies, fine line Sharpie, and a regular thin one. Um, and then after, next we did a, from this year, next we did a fabric study of just fabric our teacher hung up in the wall with some lighting. And that's all, and both of those drawings are on a 9 by 12 inch sheet of paper, and I just did that with graphite pencil. Um, I have a wall that I painted that I don't really have a picture of that's easy to show, but I'll probably add one in. There is just a nine, is an 89 inch wall with like 11 inches wide and it's like latex wall paint for the background and I did a bunch of Posca pens over it to add koi fish and details and it was just a surprise for my mom that I thought she would really like because I was repainting over an old wall that I did a long time ago. Um, in, in one of these sketchbooks, it's this one, I have a bunch of red eyes that I drew in red and black ink, because at the time, maybe towards the end of ninth grade, they were my favorite colors to use to draw in. I use, um, a red ballpoint pen with some black brush markers over it, and that's on a 8 by 5 inch piece of paper, and then I made... These four bookmarks from my friends who we, we're all we all like Greek mythology and so I have Icarus falling into the water, I have Persephone reaching for a pomegranate, and then I have Artemis' symbols, which are an arrow and a deer, and then I have this moth and a beetle. Um and they all came out to be about two by five inches, and those are just the test prints because I gave the actual ones to my friends, of course. And then I have these eyes that I drew using graphite when we were learning how to draw them in Art 1. And I have a fourth one that didn't make it onto this page, but it's a charcoal drawing that I really, I, I kind of like it. I like the graphite ones more in the end, um, but these are all on nine by five sheets of paper that I just glued in to my sketchbook. Um, I have this poster that I worked on with a bunch of koi fish that I glued on and I drew with ballpoint ink and then added some alcohol marker over and then I drew around the background once I glued them down with Posca pens. I have this skateboard that I really like. I'm still working on it. I've been working on it for like two months now. It needs some more detail, but um, it's like a it's a full size skateboard, about a seven and a half. And then I have this medium size helmet with a similar design concept, but also has half koi fish on it. And they kind of go together, not specifically, but both have acrylic paint and Posca pens on them. Then I think the last couple things I have are more sketchbook pages, which I have this purple page, which has old receipts from when I was hanging out with my friends. It has wisteria drawings that I really like because it's like my favorite person's favorite flower. And then I have drawings where I made my friends sketch out things, shapes in highlighter and I would draw over them. I have this cone man that I tried stippling on for the first time. There's a fish, there's a self-portrait that I'm really proud of. Um, it has a bunch of lyrics that I like and then everything has highlighter, alcohol marker, or microns or just glued in from somewhere else. Um, then, oh, there's one more thing in the sketchbook. And then I have a skull drawing that I did with um, 
I stained the paper with black tea after writing a bunch of words from Hamlet on it in just pen ink and then I went over it with charcoal sticks and just some brown charcoal sticks and some brown charcoal color pencils um and it took me a few hours but I really like it and um I would like to go to this um course this school because I feel like it would progress my art skills it would help me in the future a lot um towards what I want to do in college and then um I'm Michaela Palmer and thank you for watching my portfolio